I think I've done more, more than enough one-on-one -on -one content, so I'm going to start doing a little bit more um, complicated, a bit more nerdy, a bit more technical, which is the 201 level content. So if you think that my content is not simple enough and you want it a lot simpler, please let me know so that I can create the kind of content that you can understand. And if you think that it's too, um, it's too easy and you want it more complicated, please let me know as well so I know what kind of content you're looking for. Okay, so um, to, to get started with this more technical side of things, I really want to get started with the difference between crypto economics and token economics. Because I think that now, now we have a better understanding of what token economics is and what the different types of crypto economic researchers are doing, you realize that they're actually two very different things. I've done a lot of one-on-one -on -one videos on the differences and are very, very easy to understand with a lot of analogies. I'll link them in the comments below as well so that you can, you can get access to them. But if you really know them and you know what the differences are, or you know an idea of what they, they are, here's what the difference is. So in general, they're quite similar, as in the, it's all about um, incentive mechanisms, it's all about understanding how to organize and coordinate all these decentralized participants. In the end, at the end of the day, that's, that's the same thing. The concept is the same. But the difference is that with crypto economics, you're talking more about how these nodes coordinate, how the validators validate, how, what are the different um, levels of authority or the different kind of governance structures so that you can allow for validation of data and you can look at scalability, you can look at security, you're looking at... You, it's also about game theory to understand what are the probability of hacks, what are the different dominant strategies, what are the, you know, if there are some natural equilibriums involved or what, from a computer science perspective, how do you apply um, economic, economical math into, or game theory, game theoretical math into the security of a system. Oh, there's a cat over here. The other, the, for token economics, it's quite different because for token economics, as I've talked about in the podcast and I've talked about in all the other videos, in token economics, it's all about coordinating participants, coordinating the users of the system in a more um, end goal. So with crypto economics, it's more of a protocol layer. It's, it's a means to an end, which is not a bad thing because you need all these infrastructure in place so that you can validate transactions, you can run your dApps, you can ensure scalability in the underlying um, you know, future of the web. With token economics, th uh, though, we're talking more about the, the dApps itself how how the depths where people use tokens as an end in this depth environment that is being created or that they exist in so that's the, the main difference and that's why we have a bit more a little bit more behavior economics involved in in token economics which is a very big uncertainty layer over there and you have you still have them in crypto economics but it's just a little less because it's more of it's more from a computer science perspective of applying economics and then um, Token economics is more of a social perspective of, of token economics because the, token t the tokens there also are heavily speculated in the secondary market and so you have to give really, really good use cases. You have to define the use cases. You have to design the use cases, demand, the supply, the opportunity cost, the, the different financial engineering that's involved to ensure that people don't, there are less people speculating and more people using it. Crypto economics, on the other hand, because it's more of a protocol layer, it's more of a a very important key infrastructure piece to allow all these transactions to flow, to allow all these data to be validated. So there is an inherent use case over there. So people will use it. And the speculation is, is quite different. Speculation is more, you know, will this, will people be using it? How is the scalability like? How is the security like? So in that sense, you know, token economics and, and crypto economics are quite similar. They have the same underlying principles, same underlying mechanisms that, that surround each other but the application of and how to use them is quite different. So let me know if, if it makes sense or it does not. And if, if it doesn't make sense, I can think of analogies to explain that easier. So let me, also let me know what kind of things you want to look up, uh, what kind of short educational snippets you're looking for, and I will, I will be doing more of them. Till next time, bye.